Hey my YouTube beauties. So today I am doing a video of how to apply your acrylic or do your full set with your opposite hand, your predominant hand. I am a right-handed person and I will be doing my right hand today. So as you can see, I just started off with um, nail prep and now I'm going in with my Young Nails Primer. It's called Protein Bond. My nails have already been prepped um, as far as uh, removing the shine and doing my cuticle work. So, yeah. <clears throat> this video will not be in real time. So, I'm just cleaning that out. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to apply just another color of primer just in case I wiped it off by wiping out uh, my plastic dapping dish. Um, the monomer will be Mia Secret monomer. Um, and that is a number 12 Kamisi brush and that is a mixture of Mia Secret um, pink acrylic with um, white glow in the dark powder so now it looks more like a milky type of um, acrylic so yeah I just went in real carefully with like a not so runny ball so I could have like more control of it because doing your predominant hand is not that easy you have to be very patient so I decided not to work on the wetter side. And even though everybody knows me, a secret is runny. Um, I'm working kind of thicker, as you can see. And I just took my time with this and I'm being real gentle. And this is just my base um, for underneath my acrylic color that I will be using. And I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, one B, just to really, honestly, just to cover my natural nail to give me something to file back down to when I apply my acrylic color and wiping um, any excess like acrylic I might have let run over somewhere. So that's all I'm doing. And now I'm just going to be using acrylic color by Glam and Glitz. It's called Almost Nude. And I'm just trying to work it down my pinky, you know, girl. And cleaning up. I'm going to say this now. When I do my left hand, I mean my right hand, I do waste a lot of product, y'all. Because, I mean, I'm just, it's just hard for me to do my predominant hand. But I do it, and it turned out looking good. But I waste product. And that I do not like. But you know what it is, what it is. So I'm going to repeat this process throughout my entire hand. Everything with me is repetitive, you guys. So just try to pay close attention to how I'm doing this. One other thing I forgot to add. So, you know how um, you do your shape before you um, lay your acrylic application? Well, after I was done prepping my nails, I got distracted and I had to tend to my daughter. So, I did not file my nail shape. All I did was cut them with the scissors or I might have used straight edge clippers. So, I'm going to have to go in and file my shape how I want it. Um, and that's important when you do your acrylic. You want to already have your shape. Um, luckily, though, like with the straight edge clipper, I did kind of get some type of outline. But, yeah, y'all. So, I'm going to have to bring me some shape into these boys at the end of the video.
And now I'm just going to apply that Mia Secret over each of my nails. Okay, so it's time to bring my shape in. I'm using a nail file by Iridesi. It's 100-100 grit. And I'm trying to get it in a good view for you guys so you can see how I'm trying to shape it with my predominant hand. And I'm more so working my finger against the file rather than um, working the file against my nail, you know. Just um, doing any method that'll really help me. As you can see, I'm like holding my finger and just working my finger into it instead of following it naturally how you would um so that's a big help you guys doing it that way it'll help you get your shape
So now I wanna see if they look like my right hand. And so I see that I have to narrow them some more so um, they could kind of be uniform. Taking the McCart nail drill, I'm just using a fine ceramic bit like I normally would and just going around my cuticle, cleaning it up, um, making sure that no acrylic has adhered to my skin because I don't want to have any lifting. And I'm going to tell y'all now. So, um, I changed the same. Oh, I forgot to file my thumb to y'all. <laughs> But I noticed it at the end. I went in and filed it. But um, I changed my setting to uh, the reverse. And I put that fucking dent in my nail. You see it on my um my index finger? So I'm going to use that finger for bling. Because I definitely gouged it with the drill. If you guys were wondering. It was not on purpose. It was an accident. And I low-key almost gouged the middle finger too. But you just want to be careful with this. I should just turn it. Honestly, I should just turn it back to my regular setting. But I was trying to be raw. And I usually just do all my fingers on forward. Okay? Because it just comes out better for me. And I never gouge my stuff. So keep your settings the same. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I thought maybe it might be easier to do it that way. But that's what happened. Always go to first mind. Don't change your routine. And I don't know if this is just because I wanted to, but I'm just going in with the safety bit and just going back in on my left hand. Um, just smoothing out that nail or whatever, like I normally would. Going back to that gouged finger and kind of trying to contour in some, and it's working. And I'm just going to go over all the nails. I think they look great to do it with my um, predominant hand. <laughs> Honestly, I was done a lot faster than I expected to be. And now I'm just going in doing the buffing like you should always do on every set. Never skip it, never, ever, ever skip it, honey. And I'm gonna dust my nails off, probably wipe them with an alcohol pad and do my design. And I, uh, did my design off camera because I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to write on your nails because I'm not a pro of how to write on your nail and I don't want to lead anybody astray 
But I will show you how to do stone placement though. And it's basically like doing a puzzle. That is the best way that I can explain it to you. Um, fit pieces where you see they belong. Also, um, I kind of went out of camera focus. Um, so just know that that's gonna happen. Wasn't on purpose. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching this video. <laughs> I mainly did what I came here for. I just came here to show you how to achieve a full set on your predominant hand. Um, so yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And I will see you later.